You are now live. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I want to welcome you to the private room with our trick or treats edition. And as always, we have our normal panel on here and we also have a special guest. If you don't know, this is your first time joining us. I am Ropey Hill. I'll be facilitating tonight along with my other co, I mean, my other um, castmates here. And um, I'm going to let them introduce themselves and who they are and what they do. So we're going to start with the only gentleman who I love because he is so brave. He all, It don't matter if it's a thousand women on here. He shows up. He like, I'm ready. <laughs> so what's going on over there, Mr. Sexy Berry? What's up, everybody? My name is Barry Scarborough. Um, I, I've always enjoyed being a part of this podcast. We have a good time. Um, I do like to represent the men a little bit, and I try to do it my own way as being more of a masculine but sensitive man, kind of bring that mix. But um, I'm here to talk about tricks and treats and toys and all kinds of fun stuff. Hey, my type of conversation. That's what I'm talking about, Barry. So who's next up? Miss Miss Tiffany, our other Tiffany. Hi guys. Welcome back for another fun episode with us. Um <laughs> and also happy <laughs> So um I'm the other Tiffany. Um basically I'm just on here as the other polyamorous. <laughs> um individual with Barry but you know just here for a good conversation good time and um yeah I guess that's it okay keep it short and sweet okay so um our special guest who do we have in the building today what's up y'all I'm T Solo I am the owner uh president founder CEO whatever you want to call me of T's treasure chest which is an adult novelty shop. Um, I've been in business for about two and a half years. Um, I started in California. That's where I moved here to North Carolina from. And so um, it was really fun. It's been, it's been a fun time doing this. And I love selling sex the legal way. <laughs> okay, okay. So so we, let's, just, let's just dive into this, okay? Okay. So... If they ain't told you, I'm somewhat of the uh, the muse here, the comedian. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm <laughs> just, uh, I play with on my mind or whatever. But um, why you come to North Carolina? Like these proves in North Carolina, this is like the the Bible bill. So nobody talks about sex here. Nobody does sex accordingly. So you know, <laughs> why would you come here out of all places? Well, I mean, apparently somebody doing some sex because they their Carolinians being born all every day. <laughs> so honestly, just getting into the whole of what why I'm doing this, I do this because I feel like especially my community, um, we are taught that sex is very taboo, you know, and I feel like we're taught that things are supposed to be or have to be very basic or you're sinning or it's nasty or it's perverted or it's all these other manner of things, right? When in reality, my belief system is that sex, your climactic energy is your highest manifesting energy, right? That's where you get your most power at. It is it's the entity that actually creates life, right? So of course it's the most powerful. Why is it still basic? Why does it have to be basic? At the time, I'm not anymore. Before she sees this and start tripping. At the time, I was single. I had been single for a long time. And I feel like I'm pushing into the community what I wanted from the community. Some good sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it gets old busting out my box of tricks. And then everybody's looking at me like, oh, you crazy. I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So, it's it's a different thing. Now, I started in California, and honestly, in Sacramento, I made a really good name for myself um, selling toys. Like, it, it, I, I literally just, with, I sold over, before I left, I saw, had sold over 2,000 roses, which is my highest selling product, right? So, I felt like I had been traveling with this Black traveling group, and um, everybody was pretty much from this side. And so I just, they were so fun. They were so full of life. And then every time I went on the trips, I would like get to the parties and they would be like, T, do you got this? Do you got that? Do you got this? So I was like, well, 
when I got ready and decided that I wanted to leave California and move, I was like, let me go somewhere where I feel like it could actually be a service. I could actually grow my business as a service. We freaky in Cali. What can I say? <laughs> Wait a minute, hold, hold. Some of us is freaky, you know, all over the world. You okay. know what I'm saying? It's that you've been in Cali. <laughs> you've been in Cali. So I heard you say her. So you mm -hmm. identify as a lesbian. Okay, cool. We're down with those people. We love them. <laughs> um, <laughs> so with that being said, um, how is it that like what toy shall I say? I mean, you said your rose. So what's the next best toy? That um, you got? So, the, so I would say the next best product, of course, is gonna be the roses for the women, per se. So the next best toy is gonna be for the men. Um, I actually have it, I can show it to you. It's um it went viral, and once the toys go viral, that's when they go crazy. But it actually is a really good toy because it sells out every time. Um a lot of people call it the Gok Gok 3000. So that's what it is branded as on my website. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. But it mm -hmm. is a male masturbator. Uh, oh, yeah. Is, yeah okay. Yes. It's USB rechargeable. And so it looked kind of basic. But when you're in there like that, and then it's ribbed on the inside. This is super soft. You know what I'm saying? So it's ribbed on the inside. It's got a vibrator in there so you can change it. And then it'll spin in different directions. Like it'll stop and go the opposite direction and go the opposite direction. So this is a good one. Um, my male toys always come with a free silicone lube as well because I feel like they need that lube to get them started anyway. So, um, But this is my next best selling toy. And it's USB rechargeable because we don't really like messing with batteries. Yeah, we don't do batteries. We run around the house sometimes. <laughs> so right. you know what I'm going to say? See, that toy right there is a blessing to a woman like me. <laughs> and for those who you know know about what I've said about you know giving fellatio, um, that that's wonderful. That means I ain't got to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I could just hit you off with that, and you know what I'm saying? Then handle me, right? <laughs> so yeah, I might have to look in look into that one right there. So, so uh, since we're talking about tricks, home and any of the toys, let me put this out there: any of the toys that you may see her um display throughout the the podcast. The link is in the bio, and somebody has said that they want to see the rose, and like, what's that about? I guess you know, for the people who don't know what a rose is, okay. please explain it to them. Also, look in the bio; you can go down. I mean, the link in the comments and stuff, and the link is there for the products as well as the code to get a discount on it if you're here with the product. Yes, yeah, so um, the rose is definitely my highest selling toy. The rose is actually how I started selling toys. And really quickly, I'm going to just tell y'all, I um, I have bought a rose to support somebody else who was selling roses, and I shelved it for like two months. Um, I'm pretty big in my own personal life. I'm pretty big on toys. And when I say toys, a lot of times you'll hear me reference toys as a whole, but I don't mean just vibrating toys. I mean like swings. I mean candles. I mean, you know, there, are, there there's a broad vast of things that you can bring to your bedroom to accessorize and play with, right? So vibrators are have never really been my personal thing so i was like put it on the shelf for like two months but i kept hearing about it kept hearing about it kept hearing about it so i was like let me try this thing and see what this thing is about i promise you immediately i fell in love for two weeks we was like locked in like this <laughs> it don't take long so this is a rose this is the standard rose it is a um, click stimulating vibrator so what this little hole does is it sucks. Now, it, it's a light suck. It's not like a hard pull. It's just a light suck on your clip while it's vibrating. You can change the vibration settings. It has 10 different settings to change to. It's waterproof. It's USB rechargeable. You just sit it on the charger like that, and it charges for you. But I'm going to tell you right now, I did not charge mine for about two and a half months because it only takes about two minutes. <laughs> I have a lot of customers who tell me the first time that they squirted was with the rose. Um, it is. I have people that tell me that um, they're kind of scared because it's really powerful. I've had some ladies that tell me, oh, um, <clears throat> I don't think I like it. I don't know if I know how to use it right. 
And I can't imagine anybody not really liking it. So what I always tell them is go back and try it with your partner. Let your partner apply it. You know what I'm saying? Then they'll come back and say, okay, that was a way different experience, a way better experience. But I'm going to tell you right now, I feel like every female should have this. <laughs> if you got a clip to put in there, you need it. <laughs> because once you, and I tell people, once you start with this rose, you'll be back. You'll see what your body can do. You'll see how it make your body feel. You'll be back to get something else. <laughs> can I add So I'm glad you, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, bro. There's, there's a rope seat. The reason why I know is because I got one. So the one that I got has the extendo. I call it yes. the extendo. But it's got like the um the penetratable, I guess you could say, part that goes within. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's life-changing. And I think I had like a couple of out-of-body experiences with it. <laughs> and um, may I suggest for the fellas that are watching this, if you're feeling a little lazy and you want to get your girl something for Christmas because it's, you know, right around the corner, um, I suggest getting that one. And I'm sure, T, you must have it in your- I definitely have it. I definitely have it. So I actually, it's crazy because I actually call it the Rose Extendo. That's what it's called on my oh. website. <laughs> so, and I have it with the, with the suction. I have it with the suction apparatus, but I also have it with the tongue apparatus at the top too. And- mm. um. I'm not going to lie. She ain't told no stories. And she says when, fellas, if you're feeling lazy, but I'm going to tell you, this is how I'm going to kind of preface us talking about toys. Toys are not just for, you know, single people. It's not just for, you know, if you got a partner who's not interested sexually, toys are for play. You get to maximize the sexual experience with whatever toys that you bring into your bedroom. I use the toys with my partner. I get to use them to tease. I get to use them to explore ways that she can't get, angles that she can't get herself. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really just about like doing it, you know, by yourself or a single person sport. Real talk, I love watching the pleasure that she get when that rose hit that clip and she just start jumping. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm hmm So for people people who don't know, okay, so like me, I've never experienced the uh the rose. Um what? Um, we gotta get you a girl. Yeah, um, yeah I've never well, we experienced it because <laughs> hey, but no, the reason why is because for me, like I'm one of them girls who is sensitive. Like, you know how you were saying that it doesn't do it too hard or whatever. So that's my fear. Like I'm real sensitive. So you can't just be down like like you munching on carpet or eating up mm -hmm. a salad or something. That, that can't happen with me. So that's why I don't really do vibrates because most of them, the motor in them is too powerful and it hurts more than it's more pleasure. So for girls like me, like what would you recommend or would you recommend the rose for being the first or like the best experience? So I would actually recommend that extendo rose because the extendo rose. So this one is, um, this one is, is it's, it's a lot. It really is a lot. I'm not gonna say that it's too powerful, but it just is. It's it's <laughs> it's a sensation that you just cannot describe. Okay, but with the extendo rose, the hole here is a little bit bigger, and the sensation is a little less, um, less like powerful. Um, I've had other women that have said, "Oh my gosh, this one is extreme." Come back and get that other one because that hole is wider. And it kind of gets around the clip as much as instead of right on the clip, targeting the clip and just zoo, 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 like that. It gets kind of around. You know how sometimes you rub around that thing? And, ooh -wee. It's like that. So I would suggest that one. Okay. <clears throat> so you heard y'all uh, what they said that they recommend I get for Christmas. So if anybody <laughs> wants to buy me, you know, the with the extender. <laughs> okay. And uh, we just had another gentleman join us. <laughs> I want to join in on this conversation for a minute because I, I heard Go like, ahead, Barry. like Tiffany, you were saying like, you know, if you uh, like buy these toys, if you're feeling a little lazy for me, I keep toys all the time because, and it's not about lazy. Sometimes it's kind of work, but as a guy that has three girlfriends and other potential play partners, I mean, you're, being lazy would be me just getting mine and going to sleep. But putting in work is I'm going to pull out my number one favorite, 
which and, and I think yeah. it's important to note is does your woman like clitoral stimulation or is that's it a back massage, that, ain't it? Or is it all about that G spot? Because I, this one, as scary as it looks, um, there's probably at least five women I've made squirt with this that had never squirted before. Oh boy, this, this what? Is, I, I think I think it's a, I think it's extremely important to know like what your partner uh, enjoys and what they like and putting the time in because you know. I mean, maybe some men are hitting on it like that, but I, I know me, I'm 54 years old. I'm tired. Um, <laughs> I, to, toys are your best friend. I don't, don't feel embarrassed about using toys. I mean, you, you know, make the best of it and make them your best friend and, and the women will love you for it. Okay, wait a minute, Barry. Hold on, hold on. That thing you just pulled out there was silver. That shit look worse than what my gynecologist used. Like what the hell? I think I think so. No, no, no. Hold it back up, Barry. Wait a minute. Hold Hold it back up. Okay, so I I see one end. What's on the other end? It's the same thing. Just depends on what size person Mm -hmm. you know, like what what they desire. That's a G spot hitter. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I I call it the hook. Okay, so um, hold on, hold on, because y'all know I'm green over here. For women, I'm real green when it comes to this stuff. So, for women that need a wait a minute, can you use that on two partners at one time? Yeah, I have not the tried that. Probably needs a little bit, a little, little bit longer, but I mean, but we might be on to something. We can. <laughs> well, I've got, I've got, double, I've got double sided domes. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Hold on, wait a minute. Who oh, wait a minute? We just got another guest. Well, before we introduce our, our other guest. Um, I just want to let y'all know again that all of the stuff that Miss T is showing y'all today, because you are part of this this crew right here, you're gonna get what forty percent off. It's t- oh, I wish you was forty. I wish I could do y'all forty. It's ten percent off, but I'm ten. Tell y'all okay, right- hold on. I need my glasses because I'm looking at the screen and it look like a phone. <laughs> but t- thank you for correcting me. She said it's ten percent off of anything that she has there, and but you have to use the code that is listed in the comments. And you can see when you when you go to my site, you'll automatically see my prices are way uh, different than the ones that you're gonna see in the stores. I went, I had to go, um, like I was shipping off a, a order. Um, it had busted in uh, the the lube had busted in my car. I had to go replace it, and I went into the store and paid twice as much to replace it really quick and get it shipped out. So my prices are very reasonable because I want us to have this. <laughs> Okay, and we have someone else joining us. Could you please introduce yourself, sir, and tell us what you do or, you know, whatever you want to tell us about you. Oh, me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. you! Oh, what what you mean, what do I do? Oh, um, and- whatever, you, whatever you want to tell us, about, anything you want to tell us about yourself. Are you, um, okay, so are you, are you single? Are you married? Yeah. My, my name is Duran Ben. Uh, mm-hmm. I am so single. It ain't funny, but uh, I can't come up with a joke for it. But uh, <laughs> yes, I'm employed. Um, employed. Well, that's two good things. Um, I'm. I have used toys before. Uh, okay. It was an exploration type thing. Um, I, I'm I'm the one that does the touching, not the one that gets touched. So, <laughs> yeah, I poke. I don't get poked. So, but, <laughs> yeah, that's my motto too. It's all good. <laughs> oh, you get poked. You don't do the poke. No, 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 no. I do the poke. I don't get poked. <laughs> Oh Lord, I know who I ain't running up on. <laughs> Got me laid over the bedpost screaming. I mean, it might be you might be screaming in different ways because if you know a little something, something about the male anatomy, you know, uh, being potent ain't a bad thing. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> that's another we subject. I'm sorry, prostate, honey. We are not milking the prostate. <laughs> hey, to each his own. And they say women don't have big hands. I've seen women with big hands. So, <laughs> hell no. Mm-mm. 
Y'all like to y'all <laughs> go above and beyond. Well, I tried too. I'm gonna stick five in there. No, you're not. But, uh, <laughs> okay. so, but uh, yeah, I'm 53, single, and we've already had a conversation. So, uh, okay. Yeah, the kissing thing. Remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. I do. Uh, I do. I remember. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's all about me. <laughs> okay, Miss Tip, Miss Tiffany K over here. So huh? uh, I already heard you talk about your extendo clip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything else that you prefer or like or would recommend for someone like me? Oh, What's for someone called? like you, I would say. <sighs> See, I would we would have to have a conversation off line to know what your comfort areas are because I'm not going to suggest something that you're not comfortable with. It's okay, so you can you, suggest you something and I'll tell you if it's I'll tell you if it's too much. So you and you know me, I really don't. Yeah. Yeah, uh probably can I say something real fast. Don't isn't there one that has like a tongue in it and it gets wet? <laughs> I've That's what we were just talking right. about. Oh, okay. Because I, I thought I was crazy when I saw it. it scared the hell out of me. But uh, I got several it, different types of tongue ones. Um, I didn't pull any out for this show, but I do have several different types. I have the one that like sucks and it's got a tongue in the middle that's flicking. So what it does, you can use it for nipple stimulation or clit stimulation. And uh, the tongue actually heats up as well. Um, mm. I've got roses that have tongues on them. I have a toy that just looks like a tongue and it vibrates. Um, so I've got a bunch of different tongue options. I got yeah, a nice. It, it was rose. that rose thing that I saw, and it was making noise, and it, I was like, "What the hell is making that noise?" <laughs> and I saw it, and I was like, "I I closed that window." I was like, "Hell no!" Mm. <laughs> no, open that, open that. Really, all it come down to when it come down to like the vibrating type toys or like um, maybe masturbation or you know th that type of stimulation, it come down to whether you're more clit stimulated or more penetration stimulated, which you prefer the most. Because I have um, dildos that um, vibrate and have remote controls as well. I have um, glass. Um, dildos. I have um, I have all kind of assortment of just different type of things. So it just really depends on like I wouldn't use anything that's penetration simulated. I would focus on clit stimulation because that's what I like. But there so are women. Do you got the vibrating panties? I do have vibrating panties. I even have vibrating nipple clamps to go with the panties. <laughs> so with the vibrating panties, uh, do they come in? Because you know, okay, so I'm old, y'all. So I remember back in the day when they first had these vibrating panties, it was messed up because they swore with one size fits all. But if you was over a size 10, it didn't fit you at all. So I've never really, you know what I'm saying, got to use them proper. <laughs> so do we have them in different sizes and, or, so the, you know, have they evolved? So mine are one size fit all, but the way they work is they are, they have satin ties on the side. So you can tie them down to a small or you can tie them up to where I can fit them. And I'm a big girl. <laughs> okay. So so it's it's not like a, you know, elastic one size fits all. It's an adjustable one size fits all. Hmm. Okay. And, and back uh, to you, Tip, you was, you was saying something. Hold on, Durant. Tim was answering a question. Uh, answering a question, shall I say. Yeah, I had an idea for you. And I wanted to run What's it up? by to see if she might know what I'm talking about. But it's like the... um. I don't know what it's called, but it, it basically sits on top of a woman's vulva and it has like the suction to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, no. And it no, has like, like it sucks. Yeah, like like say this is the vulva, right? Like the a woman's part. Uh-huh. And then it's like a big clear piece and it goes on top like this, and it has like a suction. Thing and it looks it. like a wand on the other end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have those. That's so that's the one I was talking about because the ones that I have have tongues on them. Oh, okay. So yeah. I've so seen that. Yeah. Because so 
how it has like that. It's got that motion where it's slow. And it's it really a, does. I'm thinking of her because she says she's very sensitive that that might be something that would work for her. That that definitely may be something. And then if that one, the one that I have of those has 30 different speed settings. So you can mm -hmm. really slow it down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See? Damn. Yeah, 30. 30 whole ones. <laughs> we like options. What can I say? <laughs> okay, so let's you get into the topic of the night. Awesome. It's supposed to be tricking and treating. Okay? Luster love. <laughs> so when you're with that significant, when I ain't gonna say your significant other, when you meet somebody else, are you more into the trick or the treats, or is it just more love or lust? Mm. Who you asking? Is Whoever want to answer. I, I think I myself think that's a question that depends on the person you you with, because if like with the conversation we had when I said I'm not quick to kiss. If a, if a person is not comfortable, then whatever you want to do, they more likely wouldn't do it because of their level of comfort. Now, if you got somebody who's like, I'm, I'm with all the tricks, then it's going to be what it is. But uh, if you got somebody whose comfort level is not there, then nah, it, it, it is not going to work uh, for the most part. Well, me, myself, I'm going to always be a treat, okay? <laughs> but I'm damn sure down with tricking. You understand me? <laughs> like, throw a couple of tricks in there every now and again. Yes, yeah, so you're going to get both. And with the person that I'm with, it depends on whether it's love or lust. But when it comes to, you know, the bedroom, always a treat, baby, and always down to play a couple of tricks. What about you, Miss Tip? Um, okay, so I'm a treat, but I got tricks in the bag. <laughs> there you <we> go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm a treat, but as far as love and lust, um, I have to I have to get to know you well enough to determine whether it's love or lust, and that takes time for me. So um I'm I'm a lover, so I'm gonna go with love, but I have made the mistake of lusting too. So okay. Mr. Barry. I would say I'm gonna um kind of go off Tiffany there on that. Um so I don't know anything about this trick-or-treat thing. I'm 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 a white dude. I don't <laughs> <laughs> But love and lust, I do understand. Um, I mean, lust is usually where it starts for me. But I'm a lover. So, and sometimes, I mean, honestly, for me, I don't, sometimes I don't know until, you know, we, when I went there, you know, it's like, it it may be one of those things you wake up in the morning and it's like, you know, wow, this person's amazing, you know, can I see you tomorrow? And then sometimes it's like, oh, I don't in fist bump um i got good work <laughs> so it, it really depends on the person and I, and I don't mean to be that way like that i don't take you know take it seriously but um i on, sometimes i honestly don't know until i've been intimate with somebody whether those deep connections are there or not until we've been there mm -hmm. okay miss t what about you um i feel like uh, I mean, tricking is treating, treating is tricking. I'm with all of it. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I, whatever the vibe is, whatever. I mean, you can it, you can pull anything from me. You know what I'm saying? You just got to have a key. Uh, when it comes to love or lust, I mean, love and lust. You know, I'm a lover, but I lust it. You know, so like I get myself in a lot of trouble because when I'm single, you know, there's really. Like I'm, I'm passionate. You know, I, sexually, I am a very passionate person. I love nasty, good sex. I like to keep my name good in the streets. Period. When you get done with T Solo, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that she wow. <laughs> so, 
um, a lot of times it gets confused with love. And the reality is, maybe I was just doing what I was supposed to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm not the type of person that um, I'm not going to say I love you so much that the sex doesn't matter. Um, so I definitely need a test run because if it ain't cool, then I mean, ain't going to be much we can do. I'm going to be walking around here with an attitude like a little kid. So <laughs> it's going to be trouble. <laughs> See, that's why you got toys because, you know, sometimes when they don't finish the job, you know what I'm saying? You can just always go to the, you know, little bag or the little drawer or whatever and handle your business. Listen, that's why I don't mind that's why we have the drawer and handling like business. <laughs> but it got to be more to it. Like, I like bondage. I like, you know, I got um, I got bed restraints on my bed. You know what I'm saying? I like hot wax play. I like, there are a lot of different things that I like, and I like to explore those things, and that's not stuff I can do by myself. You know what I'm saying? So I have to be with a partner that's open-minded enough to be able to embrace my sexuality and my, the way I get down too. So, so look, this is what something I experienced. Go ahead, Tip. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I was just going to ask, Tip, is there, um, is there any bondage toys that you suggest yes. um, in your yes. roster of, of fun? My favorite one, my favorite one <laughs> is mm -hmm. the swing. Is the door okay. swing. So the door swing, it, I tried to set one up, but like I said, I wasn't feeling good, y'all, and I just, it wasn't working with me tonight. <laughs> Excuse me, but um, it hangs on the back of the door. Um, it has a seat. It has stirrups for the arms and stirrups for the legs. Um, I've got them in different colors. Mine is pink. Um, but that, to me, is one of the best bondage. A lot of people don't see it as bondage. But when she's up there and she's stirred, she can you can turn her front facing, back facing. You can flip her upside down if that's how it goes. Um, did something happen? Oh, no. We just got yeah, Tiffany sharing her screen showing people what the swing is. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, so it can be used in a lot of different ways. But when you're up there, when they're up there, a lot of people are thinking, oh, how can I get in there? How can I get in there? No, that's my time to tantalize and tease. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. my time to explore. I want to get to touch your body. I want to get to know your body. I want I want you sitting up there like, oh, oh, you know. So that is to by far the best bondage toy that I have. Um, but other than that, they all great. <laughs> And for those who don't have never experienced a swing, um, I do recommend that if you're going to, it's different types of swings. And um, if you're going to have the kind that hangs from the ceiling, please consult with someone if you do not know which <laughs> beams to put them in, because we would hate for you to try to attach it to your wall and somebody sits in it and fall, as well as your doors. It's called a door swing, but your doors can't be the ones that you, you know, you made yourself. You and your homeboy, like it has to be sturdy. That, yes. So we have to put that disclosure out there. If you're going to do this, you got to do it safely. Okay. Very Thank much you. so. So the door swing actually holds up to 350 pounds. That's the swing itself. I can't tell you about your door. Okay. So you make sure you got to make sure your door is secure. <laughs> I do have the ones that go that can be um, um, put in the ceiling and I, or they can either be put on the ceiling or they can be used in a, um, what is it called? Like the hamper, um, what are they called? Mm -hmm. uh, I know what you're talking about, though. It's like almost like a swing stick. Yes, they can be used like that as well. Um, so again, that's up to you, installation. I'm not there for that. <laughs> but mm -hmm. the swing itself is durable, as long as wherever you're utilizing it is durable as well. So, okay, what about? I think it's important yeah. for people to recognize that, like, along with toys. You know, there's there's so many types of kink, so many things that people get into. I'm I'm a daddy dom. I have two submissives. Um, with one, it's more of a control. With the other, it's um, stuff I won't even talk about on here. But um, but so many of so many of the toys that can bring excitement and joy are not like vibrators or dildos or I mean, we're, we're talking about sim simple restraints, a flogger, um, feathers. There, there's so many different things that you can use. And I think I think a big part of that, um, at, at least for me, is like um, 
bringing in a vulnerability, having a partner that's willing to let you explore their body in that way with a, and, and introduce a toy to them and explore them and explore their, their limits and their excitements and like what works for them. And you know, if it doesn't work, you use a different one next time, you know? Yeah. And I found out it's Halloween and I found out that something that excited me that I found out I didn't know I would like, but knife play. Like, um, it was something just exciting about having somebody like rub a blade over my body and like how my anxiety or what they would call the adrenaline rush behind it. It was kind of dope. I was like, hmm, didn't know I would like that. Yes. Oh, Lord. Sunshine, stop it. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize, though. And that's so I do. I also do. Not only do I sell the toys, but I also do like presentations. And in my presentations, I talk a lot about the things that a lot of people are scared of when it comes to bondage play, when it comes to anal, uh, a, a lot of different things. So when it comes to bondage, my main thing is we got to realize that we're using the tool. The tool ain't using us. So we get to use it to the pleasure level that we want to use it at. I personally love bondage play, but I'm not intentionally or necessarily trying to inflict pain. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's the visual no aesthetic of it. I love hearing her her gargle over the mouth, the the ball gag. I love rubbing the um the flogger across her coochie and over her nipples and stimulating it and watching her nipples perk up. Those are the things that we have to remember that it's not just about beating somebody or causing pain or harm. Yeah, I said coochie. <laughs> I know. I was I was like, damn, I don't know if I can say coochie. <laughs> but it's not always about you know, and there are people that like pain play, and that's that's good. That's cool too. Um, I don't mind it to a certain extent. It's the same as biting or pulling hair or slapping ass. You know what I'm saying? There's no difference, except for that you have a tool to aid you in that process now. So it's really about however you want to use it. Mm -hmm. And see, um, T is into all of that because her theme song is Till the Cops Come Knocking. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> that's her theme song. You walk in that. That's her doorbell, her ringtone, her theme song. I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they come, they gonna have to join because they know spectators. <laughs> hey. hey. So, what time you say I need to be there? Oh, what time? What's the address again? What's the address? Right, right, that's all. That's live. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So oh, I got a question if that meant like maybe some of our viewers might be um curious to know, but with the different types of lubes, we have the um water base and well, we have different bases of lube, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So which one because transparent moment here, I have a hard time with lube because it throws off my pH balance. Okay. So, and it doesn't matter whether it's water-based or the other kinds. Mm -hmm. You suggest, or is there any other kind of lube out there that might be good for people with sensitive areas? So, um, I think that we're so used to like an external lube, a lube that you put on the outside that we don't recognize that there are lubes that you can ingest, okay? That create wet. Oh, snap! <laughs> Oh, so these are like the pussy cat. <laughs> the pussy cat is nice. So the pussy cat, I just so I just swapped the pussy cat out for this because I felt like the pussy cat wasn't giving. I had a party I the other. <laughs> I had a party the other night, a Halloween party the other night, where I gave honeys out, and um, people uh -huh. almost didn't make it home. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I definitely suggest if 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 you're looking for something that's going to stimulate or um, induce wetness, um, definitely try you a honey. Definitely try you a honey. Um, I, it, it works. It's going to keep you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, for the fellas. Yeah, and that's how you sneak it on. Strong. You know how they be. They sneak it on us and be popping by yeah. and be, You know, all Just put it in that drink. See, like you take that. Yeah, you take that before you go over there and see them. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what hit them. All they know is, yeah, hey, girl, that thing was good. So, yes, most definitely um, the honeys are 
I so at first when I first got out here, I used to sell the the gold honey, the royal honey. That's a big hit um, to my California patrons. <laughs> but um, when I got out here, I was at the strip club, and um, the older gentleman at the strip club was like, "You got to get that black pack. You got to get that black pack." When I got this, I'm telling you, I can walk into the barbershop with these and they will buy them out right then and there. Like these ones, they say are the ones and they can use it in two doses. Um, it does have the screw cap on there so they can, you know, screw close, yeah. close it. The black one is for men. Yes. Okay. This, this, what? that black bull. Um, and I call it the longest strong. <laughs> Okay. So be ready if you give it to them. But I done heard girls putting it on chicken, um, putting it in drinks, all kind of stuff. So <laughs> it's real. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm going to get down with Yeah, because some men, it's the ego thing with some men. Like, you know, if you tell them, baby, try this right here. It's going to help us with it. And they'd be like, what you mean? I don't need no help. So, yeah, for the ignorant ones, sometimes, you know, you might have need to get them a cup of uh, tea or something, you know, and put some honey in there. <laughs> And I tell people all the time, especially the men that I, I have some men customers, some male customers that I love because I love when they come back and trying new things and grabbing new things. Or, you know, I like the fact that they trust me enough to talk to me about their sex life and their relationships. Right. But then you have some customers like I don't need I don't need I don't need. And I really feel sorry for their partner. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, you limited her to what she can do because you telling yourself you mandingo <laughs> you know what i'm saying so when you're more like peter pan bro like i yo. got a tiktok y'all need to watch i'm gonna see y'all the tiktok when i'm done I, uh, I got a tiktok for the men too <laughs> I, I, I think so it's very, i think it's important yeah. for men to understand that like you got to get over this ego trip <laughs> satisfying a woman is not an easy thing you know, I mean, yeah, the first time you meet, she's excited and all in love with you. Sure, you 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 hitting on all 10 cylinders, you're good to go. But when it comes down, down to reality and the day-to-day -day life, there ain't, no, there ain't nothing wrong with some toys, ain't nothing wrong with some some oils or pills or, you know, whatever, whatever you got to do. I mean, if, if you care about putting that time and effort in, there's absolutely nothing wrong with, with having a little help. And and I Anthony. actually refer to I actually refer to my toys as 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 my helpers. <laughs> and to be honest, y'all know I'm the science nerd too. So um, but like to be honest, what men fail to realize is that with us women, it's most it's mostly mental stimulation. Like you get our minds to feel and imagine certain things that's done that's 90 percent of the work done right there then the other five percent is the foreplay that you put into it and then the other five percent is the physicality of it so basically what we're saying is get you, get your people mentally stimulated first then we're gonna get some toys from miss t <laughs> and we're gonna get that you know what i'm saying that foreplay going and then after that, we're going to handle our business. And then the night is complete or the day or the afternoon or, you know, whenever you want to do it. Well, well also, um, here's the thing with that. It's not only the men because I, I'm not I'm not braggadocious. I'm, I'm not that type of person, but I can do what I can do and haven't had any uh complaints yet but i have I mean, done is. i have done all of that and <laughs> still wound up with a with a partner who was boring yeah and that i, I mean it's like i i don't put in all this work because I, i'm i've never well that's a lie um i have had points where one-nighters or something like that and it went straight to sex uh, and there have been times where it's like let's talk and get to know each other a little bit and then get there uh, and, and 
to do all of that and still wind up with a with a partner that's a dud. A dud. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because this, uh, I've never <laughs> been with a man, so let's let's get that out. No, I've never been oh, with oh. a dude. I'm enough dude for me. I don't need one. I'm a lesbian. I love women. So <laughs> well first okay, so let's get this established. But, um you said you haven't had any complaints. Now, this is not to throw no shade at you or try to say insinuate anything. But you don't never know. Because some women just don't, just because nobody has complained and said anything don't mean that it's not a complaint. Some people just spare feelings like that and just don't say nothing. So I'm saying that to say this. You are right. Get to know your partner for number one. So these are conversations that you should be having with people, not you, but generally should be having with people like what you like and what you don't like up front so you'll know if you and this person are even compatible in certain situations exactly so i want to speak on bread man's behalf okay I'm, I'm i got you bro i'm on your side i'm about to shut it down she tried to get you but i got her don't worry no about i it. didn't i swear i'm playing i, I swear playing. i wasn't coming from but me. no i know i'm just playing but Real talk as a woman who deals with women, right? I feel like it's been so many times where I come across women who are absolute duds. And that, like I said, that's why I started to sell the toys. Because I feel like as a woman, it's so much more for us to do as two women, right? There's mm -hmm. so much more stimulation to be had. There's so much more exploring to do. We as women are natural observers, right? So it, as a woman, I'm going to pay more attention to your body. I'm not saying there aren't men that do it. I'm just saying naturally, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to pay more attention to your body. I'm going to be more in tune with <laughs> the spots that make you shiver. You know what I'm saying? And exactly. so there have been women in my path who have very vocally enjoyed my services and have provided none back and felt like they were giving me the best coochie God ever gave because they are so used to laying on their back and somebody's son telling them, oh, you got the best coochie in the world, girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they don't realize they have given nothing. They give it nothing. They've been an absolute bore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm the dud. Like, literally, <laughs> like, no, I'm not playing. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> like, people, I was telling, like, Tiffany and we were all having this conversation, and I was just telling them, like, people think that because I talk about sex or whatever that I'm such a sexual person. But I'm not. I'm kind of, like, new to this. I've been married, like, 28 years to somebody who didn't want to experience nothing. Like, I'm the one who be like, let's do this. Like, oh, hell no. You crazy as fuck. So I never got to, like, really do what it is that I wanted to do. That's why when these toys and stuff started coming out, and I'm the one who be telling my friends, I don't want no damn toy. I want the real thing. But I'm learning that, you know, it's not about that part, the aspect of it. It's about having fun and utilizing what's there to, you know, enhance the experience. And that's not to say that I don't know, you know, certain things, but yeah, I'm a dud because I'm learning. Like in this past right. year, I've learned a whole lot of stuff that I like, that I found out, that I've tried and liked. Think, so I yeah, once learned. again, I Christmas <laughs> suggestions. <laughs> I think some something I've learned that's um, I think could be beneficial for men or women, and I learned this through um, the kink community because I am a dom. And with being a dom, there's so much vetting involved as far as what are your desires? What are your limits? Um, and there's so much communication before you get to that consent that happens that I think people that aren't even in that lifestyle could benefit from because you're already understanding what the person likes doesn't like how far they're willing to go before you ever even get to the point of like even thinking about taking your clothes off like you've you've already had those conversations like the conversations that normal couples don't have until afterwards until like now we're bored and what what can we do to spice our our love life up it's like okay. you've already had those conversations way ahead of time yeah so, and, and so I, I like to get to know who the potential person I'm going to be with likes and don't likes because if I 
um, touch her in a way that she deems inappropriate, that's going to kill it. Like I had a, um, a ex and we were talking about um, sex and positions and likes and dislikes. And she was like, I don't like anal. I, I ain't. And you don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. But if you look at me and say, hey, uh, knock on the back door. I'm going to tie the storm door. No, I'm joking. But um, No, you're not. <laughs> but, um, uh, it's like, oh, so we were, we were in the midst. And I I took my thumb and I just massaged her anus. Her damn head almost exploded. And she was bucking so hard. I was like, shit, am I riding the bull? Uh, what did this, where did this come from? And after, after we finished and we talked about it, she was like, oh, I like that. Where did you learn that from? I said, hell, I've always known about that. But with you saying what you don't like, I wasn't going to run the risk of touching you. And then there's an argument. Because one thing I don't like to do is argue I don't, about nothing. We can't have a conversation. Uh, it's not going to work for me. And arguing just turns me off. And... I'm going to look for what I need elsewhere or be by myself. But uh, yeah, I, it's, it's, you're right. If you don't have that conversation and if people aren't honest with themselves, especially those who um, have not tried or refuse to try and explore, it's, it's not, it's not going to work. All of us have a lot that we will do and won't do well, except for Rose. She, she's <laughs> out there. But uh, I, ain't, oh, oh, I am not out there, okay? I'm not out there, but I do believe in you should try it at least once before you say that you don't like it. Exactly. That's, my that's, mind. that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. willing to try, but if I don't like it, I don't like it. So it's cool. So that being said, Miss T, for me or someone like me, what would you suggest as a starter kit, like something to like kind of, you know, for the people who like have never dealt with any type of toys. And when you say toys, you said it could be oils, it could be, um, mm -hmm. you know, bonds, it could be anything, feathers, whatever. So let's get, let's start from square one. Like I've never done this, never dealt with okay. it or anything. What would you do? So uh, a basic wand, a basic massage wand, and I have a bunch of different kinds. This probably isn't my most basic one, uh, but it'll give you an example. I'd say definitely a basic, a wand. A wand is a good Why does everybody toy. keep showing the back massages as, as, as sex toys? It's, it's, this is a toy, girl. It's a <laughs> toy, okay? And this one is actually a little bit, uh, this is dual stimulating because not only is it the wand, but it also has a dildo that vibrates as well. But um, what I like about the wand... Wants. <laughs> what I like about the wand though is that it can be you like people automatically want to go straight to your coochie you know what I'm saying they automatically want to ooh right there this can be used up somebody back this can be used as a stimulator on the nipples this can be used any way that you want to use it that's going to stimulate your partner or yourself right that's what I like about that and the way you call it the massager excuse me, uh, it, massage might be your kink. You know what I'm saying? That might be where you become stimulated at. That's A-OK -okay too. So I definitely suggest a wand. If you're into anything like couple play and stuff, I have some really basic bondage kits. And when I call them basic, it's because a lot of people, and probably Barry will agree, a lot of people like in the lifestyle, um, those toys get really intense. They get real heavy and thick and leather and they're real. You know what I'm saying? And I have more of like the commercialized toys because they're there for you to play with. So I have a five piece and explore with, excuse me. I have a five piece bondage kit and it comes with um, belted cuffs. So it's not like actual handcuffs. You can unbelt yourself. You know what I'm saying? It comes with a ball gag. It comes with... Um, a basic flogger 
that it, it doesn't really cause too much pain, but it gives that noise. A lot of times that's a stimulant as well to be able to hear that noise, to hear that and be like, ooh, you know, um, it comes with a feather tickler and it comes with a blindfold. And to me, those are key parts to figuring out the different sensations of your body. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the perfect kit, that five piece kit okay. for a starter. And I want to say something else because we have, um, we talked about, we touched a little bit on the anal play. Mm -hmm. um, I tell a lot of people this. I, this is like my number one go-to speech when it comes to anal. A lot of women are very against anal because some man has very, you know, um, you know, just not cared about her. So excited to get in the booty. You know what I'm saying? Not really caring about her and her body and her pleasure. Then ram this stuff up into her butt and now she is traumatized. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when you ha are dealing with a partner who is, you know, more in tune to what you're going, what you're dealing with, what you like, that this may be a new experience for you, then your partner is going to take care of your body. They're going to be more invested in taking care of your body. And a play is definitely something that I promote and I push. I got all kind of butt plugs. <laughs> I got light up ones. I got vibrate ones. I got tails. I got, I got balls. I got all of them. And once you learn how to use them, I'm telling you, I've had so many over my, over my uh, sexual career. <laughs> I've had so many women tell me no, that ended up, you know what I'm saying? Messing up my bed because all it takes is a little bit of attention. Once you get comfortable, and I'm not going to push the issue. I'm not going to beg or none of that. But once I make you comfortable and you see that I make you comfortable, now you're open to exploring new things. So I do agree with asking your partner what they're comfortable with. But the things that I'm looking for more so than a specific act or a specific type of play is what you're open to your openness your willingness to learn and grow into it and when you said you were a dud bro because you don't know a lot that's not a dud a dud is somebody who thinks they've arrived so they have no room to grow oh no i'm mm -hmm. a clean slate i so i tell my friends all the time the dude that gets me or the chick that get with me they're gonna be happy because pretty much anything you want to try i'm like let's go let's do it so yeah oh that ain't no dud girl that's a fun time <laughs> well, you're the bro. Bro, we need to uh revisit that conversation. Mm, <laughs> no, because I told you the number one thing that's gonna turn me on is kissing, and you said you don't kiss anybody. So that um, number one right there to knock you out the box. <laughs> <laughs> row for the row, row, row your boat, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to sink that boat. Don't look, don't get it twisted, because I'm like Cardi B and got dead on. You know what I'm saying, Megan? When they say, "Hey, I don't cook, I don't clean," but hey, baby, I'm gonna tell you, I got. Two rings. <laughs> so I know a little something. <laughs> when, when, it, when it comes to anal, I, I think um, also a lot of guys, like you said, don't care. They're just into their own pleasure and they're not thinking about how the female is going to be affected. Um, I've had a couple women tell me that um, the last guy they did it or my husband, they just rammed up in there and didn't wait for me to um, uh, get adjusted or adjust myself to the situation. And and then it's like he did this and I make, I'm crying and the guy just didn't care. I'm like, I... I that, that's so, so what, is, what is something that people can use like if they are you know interested in doing anal and it's like that situation has happened but they still want to try it but they're like i want to start with something smaller or is it about something being smaller um it, like are there certain things size. that you can use a okay. lot of people think it's about size, but it's really not. Once, First of all, the first thing ain't got nothing to do with a toy. It has everything to do with your level of comfort and your level of stimulation. Okay? Once you become stimulated and comfortable, that 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 joint going to open on its own. It got to. You got a boo-boo out of there. You know what I'm saying? It's going to open. So, um, a lot of times, I like, let me see. I have a, um, a beaded anal plug. 
and mm -hmm. it starts small at one end and it get it gradually gets bigger. Um, that is my favorite one to start with. Um, because I think that, you know, when they see, they like, the first thing they'll say is, okay, only go to here. And they don't know that you done got it all the way to the end. They just enjoying the ride. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but I will say that, um, if you're, if you're new, definitely start with something that's like silicone, that's lightweight. Um, that glass and the um, steel alloy is pretty heavy. I think that is for people that have mastered um, that sphincter muscle back there. Um, but there are small, I do have different sizes in different ones. But for me, it's really about being comfortable because you won't even know the difference in the size once you're comfortable and stimulated. And, and I think it's important to, to add to that, that it's vital that you use lube when it comes to anal play, because we, we as women, we don't produce any kind of um, lubricant in the anal cavity. So therefore it's imperative because imagine a guy trying to have sex with you in your vagina and it's dry it's going to hurt because of the friction. So, and especially if you're not comfortable or relaxed and you're not using any lube, you're in for the most horrendous experience. So um, to add to, to <coughs> like maybe a narrow anal plug might work also a short, and they come, like she said, in different sizes. Um, I think there's actually like a, um, in, in a, like a plug kit that you can get to begin off with if you're really into it. Um, you sell it, T? Yep, you can see them on my, they're on my site. You can see the different sizes. Um, it'll go, it goes small, medium, and large. Um, mm -hmm. The larger ones can get the, get a little bit big. But like I said, once you, once you de delve off into that world, um, I don't think that, I'm not going to say, oh, it don't matter from the size of this to this, but it just, once you realize that's a source of satisfaction and you're no longer scared of it, I think that, you know, you just get off into oh, it. It's a beautiful <laughs> ride. It's a fun ride. You get off okay, into I it. The nails too. So, okay. Cleanliness when it comes to, do you sell products to clean the toys? Like I do sell toy use? cleaners. I do have a, okay. a T-Stress Stress branded toy cleaner. I sell toy cleaners and lubes. Um, I sell a water-based lube and a silicone lube. I do suggest that um, if you're using a silicone product, then use a water-based lube because the silicone doesn't react with the silicone well, and it seems to like eat at the toy or eat at the product um, over time. But if you're someone who's looking for like long term stim like long term lubrication, I would suggest that silicone because it stays slick. Water is just that it dries up. You know what I'm saying? That silicone is gonna stay sl slick for you. Um, but um, yes, I do sell toy cleaner, and I suggest that everyone cleans their toys. Um, I've had I have had some crazy situations where I had this um, young lady who was trying to promote for me. She had, we were at her house and she had purchased the toy for me, a rose for me. And she went upstairs to get it, to show it off and unveiled it. And it was just crunchy and crusty. I wouldn't even want to put that back on my vagina. So <laughs> please oh, clean your no. toys. Um, I definitely suggest spray a little bit of the cleaner on a, a Q-tip and and get down in that rose like that. A lot of people ask how to do it. The rose is waterproof, but if you're not comfortable submerging it, spray the cleaner on the top, get that Q-tip and, and dab all up in there because there's no reason that you should be wanting to put that on your coochie. <laughs> another, another really important thing that I think we should talk about too is going back to the anal real quick, is please don't stick anything up your asshole unless it's got a base to it. Right. Because your asshole <laughs> literally eat it and you will end up in the emergency room embarrassed as all hell i had to fish some shit out <laughs> stuck in your fucking anal cavity don't do it we love I you i definitely have to fish some stuff out yeah <laughs> <laughs> because so many people who are new to to toys and they want to experience and you know and, and try new things out that they don't think, oh, well, I'm just going to stick this dildo up my ass and um, hope for the best. But, you know, 
here you go with a hospital bill. And <laughs> because, is that a mag light? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, just, I was going to say, yeah, and when I was a nurse, we sure did talk about stuff like that. People come in there with those. But yeah, we talked about you. We sure did. <laughs> and another thing about oh, anal, oh. another thing about anal is let's just keep it real. We just gonna bust out with it because nobody ever talks about it or wants to talk about it. And you know, it happens, especially if this is the life you live in, it happens. Don't don't shame your partner about a little bit of shit. Okay. You're Literally. in their ass where the shit comes from. Okay, so sometimes shit happens. Ain't that what Forrest said? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I thought that okay, so if you know that you're going to do that, I've heard that you're supposed to take like laxatives before or you're not supposed to eat any like a large meal before you type can stuff. Do as much, so, you can, you can, yeah, do, you can do as much prepping as you want, but you know, it's not always that situation or sometimes it's a heat of the moment type situation where exactly. she like put it in my butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. That's what well, I was like. I said, so you're you supposed to plan out when this is supposed to happen. Like, I wasn't getting it. I said, because, you know, what if you didn't went to dinner and then you come home and you <laughs> you ain't got you time to wrong. do all this prep work. That, that's what showers are for. Exactly. Do shit. Hell, do shit. Shit happens. Nah. <laughs> I'm not mm-hmm. finna shame. I'm not, you know, I done had situations where I mean, come on now. I done had situations where it might have been a little bit of dookie on the top. I done had a situation where she done shitted on my shirt. You know what I'm saying? Just, I think that the stimulation, you release some shit, you know? But at the end of the day, I'm in her ass. What can I be mad about? You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown ass woman. Am I going to be excited that it happened? No. I'm going to go in the bathroom and wash up come back and kiss on her so she don't feel stupid. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's life. If you're going to play in the booty, then you just got to give you some little shit. Exactly. I love uh, this show. I, say I love it. this show. I love this show. <laughs> I, I, man, it's like, hell, it happens. Go wash up. A lot of soap and water. Yeah. Everything is clean. Do what you got to do. Then, hell, go back in. Yeah. Shit, it, it, it was fun the first time. It's gonna be fabulous the second time. Hey, you don't got a lot of shit out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I love this panel. I learn, I learn something new every Monday. I really do. Every Monday, <laughs> this is like my sex education class. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm gonna say this again. So if you join joining us later, um, we're here with Miss Me Solo, and she is our toy vendor. She when she says toys, she wants to let you know that she's not just talking about you know dildos and vibrators. She actually has a variety of different things um that you can use sexually on your mate, yourself, or whomever you want. And because she is our guest, she is giving a 10% off of any purchase that you have here. If you use the code that is in our link. Boom. Military <laughs> discounts too? You said what? Yeah, you can discount Military discounts? Toys. Yes, discounts. It's discounts. We get, that discount runs till next Sunday. No, I'm saying military discount. Oh, military. I'm weak. Ain't nobody ever asked me about no military discount, but they probably, y'all probably need it most. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, y'all, y'all get, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was going to make it go, but I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. Yeah. I was in y'all the Navy. For a long time. Long I was in time. the Navy. And being out on that water ain't fun, but now we have a lot of shit with mixed company, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but when I was yeah, in- my dad was in the navy. He said them yeah, it was crazy how them long days at sea. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I got one so, thing that I want to show y'all. This is one of okay. my newer toys. Bury them look like they having fun over there. I want to be. They over there. They, they move. I've been seeing okay. them. <laughs> so this like, is why a new we can go and count. Ouch. This is a new product that I got that I'm super excited about. Okay. It kind of is like a rose. If you can see it, it's shaped like a mouth. Um, but this is called the Sexy Red. I don't know if y'all know Sexy Red. My booty hole pink. Or my booty no, hole brown. Pink out of her. Yeah. So Wait, we call it the Sexy time. Red. <laughs> so this part right here where it's the tongue, it actually vibrates. <laughs> 
and it um, vibrates different speeds. It it has ten different settings. A lot a lot of the toys have ten different settings on each any button that you push, right? So it has ten different vibration settings. It go fast. It go do 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 do. It'll pulse stuff like that. Then we got the mouth. Now this part actually does suck. So you can feel it pulling you in. It can be used for nipple stimulation, click stimulation, however you want to use it. And it does have different settings as well where it slows down. Let me see. Somebody did a, uh, one of the, my comedian friends did a video on it. <laughs> he had me cracking up. But it I'm over there looking at Barry, Barry making the motions <laughs> of it like he practiced. <laughs> But this is waterproof. I, I, was, I was trying to figure it out if I've been doing it wrong. Because I, <laughs> I, I, do I need to work on that? I, 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 I. There's no wrong way when you wrap her legs around your neck. Listen, hey, let me tell you something. I'm the type, I'm going to suck on it. I'm going to put this right here next to my face. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to come back. I'm going to switch out. Ain't no, ain't no wrong way to play. We all play <laughs> Y'all be trying to turn people's out. See, this is oh, yeah. this yeah, is why. <laughs> this is why. And y'all wonder why people want to bust your car windows out, don't want to leave you. You know what I'm saying? It just act the fool. Because you pull out I shit like this. Why? <laughs> why? But you don't tell the judge that though. You don't, you don't tell the judge that you know what I'm saying. You had 50 shades of gray all in one night. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you acting like that. <laughs> oh, is there is there a you back with your fingerprints on it? You said what? what? You say? It Ro Ro has an aluminum bat with a fingerprints on it. <laughs> no, no, Ro got a three eighty. I don't, I don't oh, play around. Yeah. Well, don't yeah, worry. Treasure chest also has a glove. <laughs> I wish I had one out. That's one of my favorite products too. What's the, What's the glove? It's so it's called a love glove. It's a rubber glove, and uh, it's got it's it's ribbed, and it's each finger is ribbed differently, and the palm is ribbed as well. And it by itself, it's just the glove. It doesn't vibrate or anything. But I tell people all the time, if you if you say your partner is a man, get you some warm lube. You know what I'm saying? And get the stroking and moving them fingers like, like it's the piano keys. You know what I'm saying? And that's just a way to stimulate. If it's your woman, go up inside her with them rib fingers and that lube and just ooh, get up in that G spot. You know what I'm saying? And stimulate it. If you want to get real frisky, get you a bullet. Put it in one of them fingers. Okay? And start to play with her body. Rub down her body. You know what I'm telling you. It's something for everybody. But that's called the Love Club. It's on my website. It comes in three different colors as well. <laughs> So um, when you make your video <clears throat> or you have whole classes, you just make sure you give me the information <laughs> so um, I can be there in attendance, you know what I'm saying, because I'm getting to your tip. Thank you. Thank y'all for having me. I appreciate y'all with fun. Yes, you as well. You as well. And kids, okay, so we know it's in the link below in the comments, but could you just tell everybody where they can see you at, like all your social medias and all of that good stuff? Uh huh. So, um, my social media is on Facebook, um, T Solo, T E E S O L O. Um, for Instagram, it's gonna be T E E Z underscore treasure with a Z underscore chest. And same as the website, www.tees, treasure, T R E A Z U R E C H E S T dot com, tees, treasure chest dot com. I'm like I said, I'm also available for bookings. I will pull up to birthday parties and turn up, bring my table. Um, we can do gift bags, we do all kinds of things and customize it to your event. Um, I'm, I'm actually booked until the middle of December right now, but. You know, we can work it out, okay? We can work it out. And I'm telling you, I'm a whole vibe. I've literally done these events for um, retire retirement parties and all kind of things, engagements, bridal showers, whatever. So you just give me the vibe, and I'm going to make it do what it do. Okay, we might have to see you in January. Yeah, and then follow me on social media as well because I post all the flyers of where I'm going to be. I do a lot of vending. I do a lot of hosting. So I post flyers of where I'm going to be at. Um, and you can come see me and check out my classes. I do also do um, 
erotic paint and sips a lot of times in Charlotte at Club Mirage. So tap in with the kid. And yes, yeah, I that's why we're saying party. your birthday coming up in January. So January um, what? Yeah, with Capricorn. Yeah, Chad, she wanted them. I am too. Uh, I like that. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm a December cat, so New Year's Eve. Okay. Okay. But yeah, she wants to have, she's having her birthday party on the 19th, so we might have to get you to come out. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's work it out. <laughs> Somebody said, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> she said you're going to get spanked. I see that. <laughs> we all saw that. We all saw that. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? I be bad sometimes, so I might need a little spanking. If you check out my Instagram, you can see some some events that I've done, and I've done like lingerie parties, and there be some spanking going on. I I've done some lifestyle parties. I work with another group that does lifestyle events out here, and they do some real. It, it's fun. It's exciting. So I like delving off into the fun stuff. So you say okay. So when you say here, you're here in Charlotte. I so I'm yes in Charlotte. I'm on okay, the outskirts, cool. but Charlotte is where most of my events are. That's the okay, best cool, cool, cool. So with the with the let's go back to this anal thing. With the <laughs> butt plugs, with the butt plugs, the the lighter ones, do you have one with the bat signal on it? So when she bend over and my signal is flashing on the wall in the ceiling, I can uh <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I just went to an event the other night, uh, a burlesque event where the girl had one that said fuck me. So I'm looking into those right now because I've never seen them with the words or the, the little signs on there. So you got to get back to me. But I do have the lighted ones. I have ones with remotes. Um, I have ones with tails that vibrate. Um, I've got ones with bells on the end of them. I've got glass with the little jewels. So I've got a bunch of different ones. I just need I just need one with the bat signal on it. I, well, I'm going to find a bat signal for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Lord. So does anybody else have any questions for Miss T? Because we it's about that time. We got about, you know, about stay and moving. How far list, do so. you travel for parties? I, it just depends on you but I actually have an event that I was invited to in Charleston um next month, the 29th. Uh no, the 29th of December. Um so I don't like. I don't mind as long as it's, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind. I love to travel. Okay. That's really what I came to this side for because everything is so close, so I can do events up and down the road. Okay. So, so what's what's the consensus on um, swinging? Because I've always wanted to attend one of those parties. What do you mean? What's I mean, there, there. You gotta find the people in your lifestyle. You know, there are people everywhere that do all kind of everything. Um, so, you know what? I, we'll save that question for another episode because we're probably <laughs> going to touch on swinging and the lifestyle yeah. um, coming up yeah. pretty soon. So we'll make sure that you are our, um, you know, favorite cast member of the night that night. So any questions you have, we'll make sure you, you walk away with the answers you need. <laughs> but I yeah. got a question for um, you Barry. Put me on blast. <laughs> I got a question for Barry. <laughs> um, so seeing is that you got two babies, two women, you know, well, a couple or depending on the situation. I mean, one, few one, depending on the situation. One, one, of them's not um, here. one of them's not here, but yeah, okay. What are some of like your own favorite toys to use, and do you use them together? If you do, that's what I'm saying. If you use them together, I, what are some of your favorite? Um, so for me, toys are a lot of the build up, and it, it really, it, like I was saying before, for me, it it really, um, it's so important for me to understand my partner and like what their needs are. I I have partners, I have a partner that can rub off on my leg. And be perfectly happy. And she's good. And I have other partners that like it's gonna take some work. And it's like we're pulling out <laughs> we're pulling out the arsenal. <laughs> so it really depends on the partner. And I and I have another partner that I I restrain and I'm extremely rough with. 
Um, and that's is there a go to for you though? Like any particular go to? Like, um, you know, every time this one right here is gonna do the trick. Typically, the wand, and uh, and that goes back to understanding the partner. But typically, the wand. I I found that most women um, orgasm from clitoral stimulation easier. Um, and the ones that don't, that's where I go for that the metal hook thing that I showed. Um, so it depends on the partner, and and I typically, you know, I understand my partners like what what gets them there. But for for most women, the 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 wand is the easy go to. Get that thing wound up on on that clit and. Um, oh, Barry, you need to put a rose in your arsenal. What's that? You need to put a rose in your arsenal. I I I, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking, <laughs> you do. The same thing. I was thinking the Maybe same you thing. Maybe you and like, I both will get lucky for Christmas, Barry. And get <laughs> hey, we we can share. It. <laughs> you said we can share. That <laughs> I mean, for one night, anyway. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't be tempting me to have a good time, Barry. <laughs> but anybody else got anything to say or want to add something to the collection for the night? You said no, Tiffany. You usually always got something to say. No, no. Everything was pretty much um, touched on. <laughs> we yeah i asked my questions throughout so i mean i'm good and and i have like i'm look i have i have a bag <laughs> over here my toy bag santa ain't got shit on me no <laughs> <laughs> you said you got your toy bag yeah so what you said your rose is your favorite what's your other favorite see i'm the only one that don't handle oh, toy bag, but I don't oh handle okay my other favorite is i have like a i call it the trifecta I have names for my toys. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got the clitoral stimulator, the dildo, and then it's got like, um, it's hard to explain, but it's got beads. like a, yeah, in the back. So it takes care of all three things at the same time. You need to call that shit the whole trinity, bitch. That's not called, yeah. <laughs> That's the whole trinity. <laughs> that was my favorite before the rose. So those are on my website too. Mm -hmm. Okay, Missy. I'm so going got, to your I want to let, let everybody know I've got over 70 products. Every anything that you see on my site is on stock. I mean in stock on hand. Um it can be shipped, it can be delivered, it can be picked up. So yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look on your website and see what it is I want to try. And then when I find me a partner, it's gonna be only popping. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I you make sure you get you something in waterproof sheet too, because I got that too. You gonna need it. <laughs> oh snap! Hey, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My brother's talking. About, I might have to get me some. <laughs> he over here. <laughs> you know, I might have to get me some. And she got them on sale for ten percent off until next week. Yep. So yeah, instead of getting them towels, you know what I'm saying? You can get them sheets. For real. See Miss T. Look, see Miss T. Yeah, I'm going on there. Yeah, I'm going to go on there and see what it, me and my partner going to figure out what I want to use first. See, Durant, he got off the air before I said that one. You know what I'm saying? He missed that one. But no, this has been a great episode. Like, it's been very informative. And, you know, I thank y'all for bearing with me, the uneducated one, and educating me on some things tonight. And because of you ladies and gents, I'm going to look into some things. <laughs> and thank y'all so again Barry for Taylor. having me and inviting me. I'm glad I found. I, I don't remember how somebody. I think somebody tagged me in a post. So I appreciate y'all for trusting me to come on y'all show and tell y'all something real. <laughs> you fit in perfectly. We're gonna have to have you on here for some other stuff. Barry, tell people where they can see you and follow you if you're. You know what I'm saying. Want to know some more about what he was talking about? Yeah, much much love to everybody. I'm I'm not really the social media guy like a lot of you guys are, but I'm on Facebook, Barry T. Scarborough. My messenger is open. Hit me up. Anything you want to talk about, I'm an open book. I I have a crazy life. I'm polyamorous. I'm a dom. I you know, toys, cool, LGBTQ friendly. Um, obviously, um. <laughs> I'm I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. 
I'm different. I'm different. I'm a, I'm a different guy. So you know, if you need, if you're one of the guys that, that needs that different guy that to talk to that you feel like you want to be vulnerable with, or just need to get some shit off your chest, hit me up. I'm cool. That's why we love them. So, Miss Tiffany K. Um. So, if y'all have any questions, and like Barry, I'm also polyamorous. Um. I'm also part of the LGBTQ community. Um, um, and I'm also an advocate of many things. So if you need to reach out to me, you can find me on Facebook at Tiffany Knowlton. That's K-N-O-W-L-T-O-N. Um, Instagram is sweet underscore T underscore with underscore Tiffany. And um, I believe it's the same thing for TikTok. Um, don't quote me, but I can always post some of my stuff up on my Facebook. So feel free to follow, share, like, all of that good stuff. And you can also follow us on The Private Room with Miss Tiffany um, on Facebook. We're also on Instagram. Um, yeah. So if you want to see more of our episodes where we do this every Monday, we have a different topic and with different panelists that come through and we just talk about different things. And I am Ropey Hill. You can hit me up on Instagram at ropeyhill.621. And with that being said, I love you guys as always. It's been fun. It's been real nice meeting you, Miss T. Nice We're one. definitely going to connect. Yep. And you have a wonderful and blessed night. Thank you. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night.